My name is Nosi Lezoli. I am the Health Promotion Officer at Believers Care Society under HIV and AIDS Prevention, Care and Support Program. In partnership with PEPFA, which is the United States President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, with focus in South Africa. Here at Believers Care Society, we use the Positive Lifestyle Program as an integrated approach in addressing the challenges of HIV and AIDS. We know that there are other social issues that influence the spread of this disease, which some of them is poverty related, high unemployment rates, mental issues like substance abuse, also dysfunctionality of the family unit that negatively impacts on the moral upbringing of the youth, especially the young girls. Our positive lifestyle program has five integrated projects, which are HIV and AIDS prevention seminars, HIV and AIDS voluntary counseling and testing, substance abuse intervention, poverty alleviation project and welfare support program. I will talk more about these projects and how people can benefit from them. First one is the HIV and AIDS prevention seminars that provide wellness on AIDS prevention, care and treatment referrals. It is also a platform to advocate against AIDS stigmatization. During the seminars, we also talk about other social issues that influences the spread of HIV and AIDS, and people are encouraged to seek help and to receive interventions. Seminars are held in the community, schools, and workplaces. The second project is the actual HIV and AIDS volunteering counseling and testing. Those with reactive results are being referred for further clinical assessment, treatment, and support. The third one is the substance abuse intervention, where evidence-based assessment tool in the form of a questionnaire is used to determine the level of one's abuse and addiction of substance. Brief intervention may be conducted while serious cases are referred for professional support and treatment. The fourth project under our Positive Lifestyle Program is the Poverty Alleviation Project, where unemployed and unskilled youth are being assessed and placed under our Skills Development Program for economic opportunities and mainstreaming. Some of these trainings take three months and others take 12 months to complete. When they are done with training, they also receive job assistance and are being linked to opportunities. We have 21 training courses that they can choose from to do, and all these courses are accredited with the relevant CITES. Our training also caters for the caregivers of orphans and vulnerable children and youth who are directly or indirectly suffering due to HIV and AIDS, which are mainly the ECT sectors. We conduct HIV and AIDS program management training for the early childhood development centers. The creches receive a six-month accredited certification training in the form of capacity building which enables them to support these children and youth by providing quality education, case management and care to them. We also provide welfare support to families and individuals through our food bank program where our beneficiaries are being provided with food parcels once in a month for three months to enable them to focus on their treatment or training program, even to support them until they can stand on their own feet. On Mandela Day, we gave out food parcels and we had a lot of volunteers to assist us on the Healthy Lifestyle program, where we did a lot of vital signs checkings and also the HIV and AIDS counseling and voluntary testing with relevant referrals. Thank you.